Hey everybody, it is the Crystal Whisperer, and today we are going to talk all about Peridot. Now, right out of the gate, is it called Peridot, or is it called Peridot? So, I personally have called this Peridot for as long as I could remember. However, if you really look and dig into it online or look in dictionaries. I don't even think I own a dictionary, technically, like a physical one. But the majority has it as peridot. So I believe either one is perfectly fine. I know if I go to crystal shops, I remember the one guy, I would ask for this and he would say, oh, it's called peridot. And correct me when I said peridot the one time. So Everybody pronounces this slightly different. So either way, Peridot, Peridot, I'm going to call it Peridot. I think both are fine. So Peridot, it is, as you can see, loaded with little tiny crystals. And these grow on the surface, well, not just on the surface, through the seams and everything on basalt rock. And this rock is very tough, very, very hard rock basalt. And it is kind of difficult to work with this material if you're trying to break it or, well, polish it, any of that kind of stuff. I, I honestly don't know how they even polish some of this stuff. Now, it does come in bigger, chunkier crystals, and they have... Bigger polished, like little nodules, like a tumbled stone type. They're not that big. Like peridot crystals are never going to be massive, but you can get that type of material. And to be honest with you, if you're working with it like I do from with metaphysical properties, you're probably better off going with that because this on basalt, it is kind of a pain in the butt, and you probably just saw it. I don't know if you saw it. One of these, as I picked it up, just kind of bloop. That is so common with this material. So this guy here, for example, I've had this in my collection. They call it a peridot bomb. It is same type of material. It's on basalt. But if I'm, and this has been sitting on my shelf for a while, if I push these around, there it goes. It's very loose material, and if you give this a good shake or rub, you're going to knock out a lot of these crystals. Not a ton, but there's so many, it, it might not even matter, but just in case you do use this type, the rough, if you're working with it metaf from metaphysical levels and trying to meditate with it or laying it on your body or holding it, prepare to knock off a bunch of crystals each time, just as a warning. So Peridot, this was actually talked about in the Bible, and they called it chrysolite. And the other name for this is olivine. Olivine is another pretty common term if, if talking about this. So depending on the crystal shop you're at or who's talking about it, it might be, kind of, be called olivine to them as well. And very cool, the Egyptians actually considered this a gift from the sun god Ra. And everything about this has the power of the sun. Whenever the Egyptians are talking about this, they believed it had the power of the sun. And they could control nature. And they also believed if you filled, it up, filled up little gemstones of this inside of cups... You can actually speak and communicate with the gods. So, I mean, this has went back for thousands and thousands of years where people use this. It was cherished with the Egyptians and Romans. The Romans also referred to this as the gem of the sun, just like the uh, Egyptians. But the Romans would actually let this soak up in the sun all day, and they believed it would glow at night with the power of the sun. I'm going to have to try that. But I don't think it actually 
glows with the power of the sun. But it is definitely revered as a sun crystal, even though it's green. But you can kind of see why. I mean, it's so vibrant with the green colors. I mean, look at how vibrant that green is. And it looks like it's, it is kind of looks like it's glowing and just popping. And in the sun, this just explodes with just magic. I mean, the, the, all these crystals are reflecting the sun in every different way. And it's just beautiful, beautiful crystals. I mean, no matter how you look at it, they're beautiful. But in the sun, this just blows up. So that's a little bit about its history. Um, what is this used for? Many different things, but it, it's just great all around. But it's an attractor. And some crystals are repellers where they will push away negative energies, stuff like that. Some of these will attract wealth, whatever the case may be. And then others are acted, they act like a filter. I mean, there's so many different types of crystals, but Peridot is an attractor. And it's an attractor of abundance. Abundance and wealth. And it's, it's almost like magnetic, the, the way it attracts. It is, look at this beautiful but it attracts abundance and keep in mind not all wealth and abundance is is money whenever you start talking about wealth and abundance and manifesting and stuff like that people always go to money 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 and that's not always the case if you're talking about wealth and abundance abundance can be many things abundance can be it's not always pure cash in the bank so just keep that in mind. Abundance can be happiness. It could be so many different things. So speaking of happiness, this is what this is all about. The number one is an attractor. And you don't need to do much with it besides have it. It's like a magnetic attractor for wealth and abundance. It will pull it into you whether you want it or not. And all the good stuff. Now, the cool thing of this is it is its main vibration is just positive, lighthearted energy. And it's just, it's in the form of unconditional love. And you want to know what it makes you become? And you're going to laugh. SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows SpongeBob. SpongeBob is just bouncing around. He's the happy-go-lucky guy, Sponge, just loving his life. Everything he looks at is magical. Everything he looks at is just unconditional love. This will help you become a human SpongeBob. And who doesn't like SpongeBob? It, it, I mean, it's going to pull that lighthearted energy, positive energy, the, just that pure, unconditional love where you just soak it in using this. And it's similar, again, soaking it in like the, the rays of sunshine. You're just bouncing around like SpongeBob. Everything you see, hey, that's okay. Just loving everything. And it is an extremely joyful stone. And it can help you find happiness in any type of situation even difficult ones, like it, it's just really a great vibration and frequency that Peridot puts out. And like I said, if you want to be a human version of SpongeBob, <laughs> this is the crystal. This is the one pure unconditional love. And I think that sums up SpongeBob. So obviously it's a heart chakra stone. It's also a solar plexus stone, too. Between the heart chakra with love and solar plexus, between that green and yellow state, that's what this is all about. And obviously, it does bring in just loving, joyous vibes. It can balance your heart chakra. It can balance your solar plexus. 
perfect for both of them. The other cool part of this is if you have a nice specimen like this, the vibes on that sucker is going to cover an entire room and it tosses out a very large energy field. And for smaller crystals, it's kind of unique. But I mean, look at how many crystals are on here. This just throws out an awesome vibe. Changes the vibe of the entire room. So, and it can definitely, the other thing is it can affect others, not just you. So, if you are dealing with somebody that's normally unhelpful and you want to get a more helpful response from them, say in meetings or talking to somebody, stuff like that, somebody that's normally kind of difficult to speak with, this will help you get more of a good, helpful response from that person as opposed to the typical shrug it off. And this kind of opens the door to a lot of that. And just having it in the room does that because it tosses out a very large energy field. Or gift said person a nice specimen for their house or desk or whatever their, their office. That would help too. So... We already kind of talked about it opening the heart chakra. The other thing it does is it gets rid of jealousy. So if you're a jealous person by nature, Peridot will definitely help rid jealousy by opening the heart chakra, releasing whatever type of imbalances or messing up the heart chakra. This will help get rid of jealousy, break it down and just get rid of it. Jealousy is ob obviously it's, a toxic trait, and something that isn't recommended. It will cause issues, and but this will rid jealousy, which is another great one. It'll break negative energy patterns. Like, what I, what I mean by that is negative patterns where somebody that will say, I can't do that. I'm never going to make it. Oh, well, I'll just accept what I'm doing here or there, or, oh, that kind of attitude, it will break those negative patterns where you think, you, you, I wish I could do that, and oh, well, maybe next year. No. Goodbye. You go from Squidward to SpongeBob with this, and that is the key. Just that wonderful, lighthearted, positive energy. That's what Peridot is all about. And an attractor of wealth, of course. So, if you want to sum up Peridot, or Peridot, depending on how you say it, if you want to be lighthearted, you want to be loving, you want to be positive with just pure, unconditional love, and you're constantly attracting good vibes, wealth, and abundance in all forms Get some of this and work with it. Meditate with it. You can, I would definitely recommend cleansing it before use. I would recommend you can use the water thing, but prepare to have a lot of little crystals fall all over your sink. So I would go with like using a smoke and sage to cleanse this or leaving it in the sunlight or moonlight. Sunlight will charge it as well as cleanse it, but moonlight will definitely do the trick too. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And again, you can get this in, if you can see that one crystal there, some of those get pretty large, enough where you can get it inside of a little necklace or something. Peridot, they, they have beautiful necklaces and pendants and bracelets. Very expensive stuff once it's, like, really cut and polished. But awesome to work with, and it's a joy to have and work with. Just, if you want to be SpongeBob, here you go. Get yourself some Peridot and enjoy and reap all the benefits. So that is it. If you guys have any questions, you want to tell any stories about anything particular to any of the crystals I talk about, please share. I love hearing them. 
and I try to respond to the majority of stuff. So that'll do it for this video, and I will see you guys next week.